Okay, hi there, and uh, welcome to a macro video. And uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the key factors that can cause a currency depreciation in the foreign exchange markets. So currency depreciation is when the external value of one currency falls against another. The Australian dollar, for example, might fall against the US dollar, or it might fall against the Chinese yuan, so that one Australian dollar buys less of the United States currency or less you are. Good example uh, of a depreciation, which of course happens in a floating exchange rate system, was the external value of the pound falling quite sharply by more than 15% against the US dollar and the euro in the immediate reaction to the 2016 Brexit referendum result. Here's sterling against the euro. This is actually the um, the euro sterling exchange rate, so the chart going down indicates that sterling is going up against the euro. One euro buys fewer pounds, but you can see in June of 2016, significant depreciation of sterling, so that one euro bought more pounds. In fact, the pound has remained fairly weak against the euro ever since. Once you get to one to one, that's what you call parity. One euro buys one pound in that situation. So what might cause a depreciation inside a floating exchange rate system? Here are four possibilities. There are many, but I'm just picking out four for you. One could be that your major export uh, suffers a fall in demand. So if you're selling less of your dominant export, be it copper or coffee or cocoa, if it's a developing country, that leads to a fall, a sharp decline in your export revenues. Uh, and uh, therefore there's less demand for your currency. Whenever you sell exports overseas, somebody else in another country is having to use their currency to buy your goods and services. So exports represents a demand for currency. A fall in the exchange rate could be due to a surge in the spending on imports, perhaps leading to an increased current account deficit on the, the balance of payments. So if you're spending more on imports, uh, that's going to lead to a net outflow of currency, causing the exchange rate to weaken. Central bank might decide to stimulate monetary policy, for example, by cutting interest rates or by expanding quantitative easing. Well, if you reduce interest rates, that ordinarily leads to a net outflow of hot money. Uh, that's money that goes around the world economy looking for the best risk-adjusted rate of return. I'll take you through a chain of reasoning of that in a second. And the depreciation could also be caused in a managed floating system by the central bank going into the market and selling their own currency to buy gold and other currencies designed to try and achieve a competitive depreciation. Here's a quick look at a chain of reasoning as to how a fall in monetary policy interest rates could lead to a fall in the currency. So, for example, if there's a drop in UK interest rates from their current levels, that leads to a reduced return on UK deposits compared to other countries. So you get less interest on your savings, which may then cause an outflow of hot money from the UK to other countries, perhaps to Germany, perhaps to the United States or Switzerland. Particularly speculators start selling sterling in the currency markets. And therefore, as they're selling the currency, there is an outward shift in the supply of sterling, and that causes the currency to depreciate in value. It's always good on these kind of questions to use actually fairly straightforward, simple supply and demand analysis. So on the y-axis, the value of the currency. On the x-axis, the quantity of the currency traded. Let's take uh, two examples. The first one is when there's a, a deep recession in one of your key export sectors. So let's assume there's a recession in a leading trading partner. That then causes your export sales to fall. The total value of your exports declines, which worsens the trade balance. Then there's less demand for your currency. So there's an inward shift of the demand curve for your currency, shown in the diagram, which other things being the same will bring down the value of the currency. In other words, a depreciation. Hope that makes sense. And here's another example where the speculators just decide to sell the currency. So maybe they target a weak currency. They then start partly because they expect the price to go down. They start selling the currency and buying alternatives. That causes the supply of the currency to shift outwards. 
And again, other things being the same, the equilibrium value of the exchange rate will go down. Another cause of depreciation. So there we go, a quick look at some of the key factors causing a currency depreciation in a floating exchange rate system.